saying OK. OK, basically. OK, what's the problem? Let me just make sure one more time I'm doing something wrong. Oh, sorry. Look, I'm, I'm looking at the Windows CE dot forms. It should be actually Windows Mobile dot forms. Okay, so now with that available forms, I can do that. Okay, this is the first step. Okay, the next step is to start programming. So as a first step, I will go ahead and create a variable, dim my contact as a new choose contact dialog okay remember we've done something similar when we created a, a or opened the form as a dialog and then the form returned for me either an okay or a false or a retry so I'm gonna do something similar I will open uh, my contacts panel and I will select a contact if it's okay so I'm gonna have an if statement and I will say if it's okay that means I did get a, a contact from my Outlook contacts then I will get their name their email and their picture okay so I will create another uh, variable them let's call it result so this is what I'll be getting as what as the dialog result okay which is going to be equal to what whatever the contact so my contact dot show dialog okay so this is very similar to what we've done before okay now the if statement if the result is equal to okay basically this means that I did select a, uh, a contact from my list then do something okay and what I want to do is to display in my labels so I have LBL name dot text is equal to what is equal to my contact dot selected contact name okay so the label will have the name okay but what else I have another label which is the mobile dot text is equal to my contact that dot selected contact you see I don't have here mobile so I will choose selected contact dot and I will choose mobile telephone number so you can basically access all the properties or the attributes within the selected contact what else I also have a picture box one dot image is going to be equal to my contact dot selected contact again I can access now the uh, picture okay and I'm basically done else maybe I will have a message box and say uh, no contact selected okay so if it's not okay so this is if it's okay else if it's not okay no contact selected all right let us go ahead and try it now remember I already saved my emulator state so I should be able to see Mr. New contact in fact when I open it I will see the contacts now it takes some time it's a little bit slow but look now my application is loading and I will show you now if I close my application where I can get it from so look I have my button my two labels which like I said you could have just deleted the actual uh, uh, label text but I will not do that I will cho choose one of them Mr. Mr. New Contact that's the name that's the mobile number and that's the picture 
Of course, if I go choose another one, for example, here, Samaraudi, and say select, I have a name. I don't have a mobile or a picture. That's why, if we take a look here, I have an email, okay? But if I go and say here, let me just add a mobile number, okay? And select, oops, select Samer again. Okay, I lost my application. Basically, this is the good time to show you how to get it back. So I will go start File Explorer and take a look this is like like any um, uh, device like a computer or if you have seen a uh, mobile device before so i will go take a look at my device okay Oops. and then go to program files and i see here all my program files remember this is my first mobile application so it's this one i will just double click this so basically i will again select Samer, select, and I have the number, okay? So uh, this is it for this lesson. We will learn more in the next lesson. Thank you.